Hi, my name is Aditya and I am the CEO of Automaski. Today I am going to be talking about the reality behind quantum deep learning. But before we get started a little bit about Automaski, we have been working on complexity theory since 1980s, solved Peasible NP in early 90s, got into quantum physics in mid 90s and within a few years realized this universe is a simulation and that too a linear order simulation. And that implementing physics won't require of the order of 2 to the power 3 and complexity but rather of the order n complexity. We had developed our rudimentary quantum computer a few years later but only in 2014. When there were massive publications, we figured out which gates to implement and what algorithms to benchmark and test with. Hence, we implicitly achieved quantum supremacy in early 2015. By virtue of having tested and earlier created the world's most powerful production grade quantum computer. Two years back, we simulated quantum gravity with a billion qubits. Six months back, we publicly launched our RSA 2048 cracking service available to anyone who cares to pay money and use it. Till then, it was available only to Department of Defenses and agencies around the world behind closed doors. And today, we are working on our quantum gravity computer based on causalite formalism. Again, the core quantum gravity computer has been ready for years now. We've been playing with it and trying incremental changes, just that we don't know how to make use of it because there is nothing published or available out there which shows how something like a quantum gravity computer can be used to solve real world problems. A small piece of advisory, please proceed with caution. If this presentation goes against your belief system, then please ignore this presentation. Stop the video and focus on things you are passionate about. If you are respectful and polite, I would love to answer any questions you might have or listen to your thoughts. Feel free to email info at automaski.com. Now, how does quantum deep learning work? In, you have basically a deep learning platform like TensorFlow or PyTorch and you create a quantum layer which takes n parameters which acts as inputs to uh, these parameters act as inputs to parameterize quantum circuits or variational quantum circuits. The quantum layer should be differentiable, differentiable so that back propagation can function and can be used to train the neural network in entirety, including the classical layers and the quantum layer. And we hook this quantum layer to a quantum computer or a simulator for execution. What you get is basically a hybrid quantum plus classical deep neural network. This is what it looks like. You prepare the quantum data set, which is basically state preparation. You evaluate the quantum model, which is basically a parameterized quantum circuit. You measure it, sample or average it. You evaluate the classical model, then you calculate the cost and then you upgrade the gradient and parameters. The parameters of the parameter circuit and the gradients of the neural network. Now, a quantum algorithm has has been developed for Bayesian training of deep neural networks with an exponential speed up over classical training due to the use of HHL. Automatsky also has modified a version of HHL which, which delivers exponential advantage. Quantum deep learning might be able to learn from smaller minimal data sets compared to classical deep learning. You only need as many data points as the number of parameters in your model. And that is roughly equal to the number of qubits which is logarithmic in, in size of the data. Quantum deep learning will likely benefit chemistry, material science, sensing and metrology, classical data analysis, quantum error correction and quantum algorithm design. Some of these algorithms, sorry, applications produce data that is inherently quantum mechanical and hence it is natural to apply quantum deep learning rather than classical deep learning to them. The problem of inductive bias is the fact that any model that we use in our quantum circuits, you know, in our quantum deep learning circuits only represents a subset of the functions and it is naturally biased towards finding these subset of functions out of the all possible functions that could exist. This is the problem of inductive bias and we have to basically either eliminate the inductive bias or tune the inductive bias so that it simulates functions that cannot be simulated classically. Barren plateaus is the problem in quantum deep learning where uh, you know, uh, a small area of uh, uh, the landscape, the loss becomes exponentially flat, flat compared to the problem size. This is studied in quantum landscape theory and this, when this happens, the, a valley forms which contains the uh, minimum which also shrinks exponentially with the problem size and this is also called a narrow gorge and you require exponential amount of effort to uh, counter barren plateaus. Nobody talks about this but measurements are exponentially disadvantageous, quantum measurements. 
quantum state preparation is also exponentially disadvantageous and quantum ramp, ramps which will be used for state preparation have not been invented yet. Quantum deep learning might not have absolutely any advantages over classical deep learning. At Automatsky, we have created the universal variation and parametric quantum algorithm which can be used to train very shallow quantum neural networks, basically quantum deep learning. Automatsky has also created 100 million to 1 billion qubits modified HL and quantum machine learning systems which can be used to tune hyperparameters of billion parameter classical neural networks and can also be used for machine learning for quantum. You might not want to believe it, but either way, this is what it is. Congratulations and enjoy. You take the blue pill, the story ends. You wake up in your bed and believe whatever you want to believe. You take the red pill, you stay in Wonderland and I show you how deep the rabbit hole goes. Remember, all I'm offering is the truth, nothing more. Thank you and if you have any questions, you can email info at automatsky.com.